Hey guys, so this is the editing version of me and I never normally do my vlogs like this but I just wanted to say that um, for this video it is super chaotic because um, this is like a baking adventure with me and my sister and sometimes it can get pretty crazy um, you know, just like joking around and things like that so this is a very chaotic video so if you don't mind that just keep watching and um join me my sister on this macaron baking adventure hey guys so this week i decided i was gonna make macarons or try to at least since i'm on school holidays so this is what this video is gonna be and i'm gonna try and make them i actually haven't made them before I've only made like cookies and brownies and like cheesecake um, so yeah we're just gonna see how this turns out and I have my sister behind me to help me um, film and troubleshoot anything because she can actually bake them so we're just gonna see how this video turns out and see if it's a disaster or if it's not okay so I've just weighed out my almond flour and I'm gonna pour it into here and like sieve it and then I still need to do it the same with icing sugar so yeah so I am like, what, two, three minutes in? I don't know, we've cracked way too many jokes in this time. But I am still trying to sip almond flour. And um, I was like, Shan was being really cautious when I asked her to like measure out the powdered sugar. And I was like, why? I was like, do you want macarons? And she was like, yeah, I want macarons. <laughs> but I do want macarons. That's, that's kind of like the main incentive here. But basically like once when I was like doing cooking with some friends, um, instead of using like a quarter cup of flour they used half a cup of flour because they kind of read the recipe wrong and i was like wondering why my mixture was drier than the sahara desert when i was like <laughs> trying to mix them and it was like cake or something and then so i put like a ton of milk in after so eh fix the problem but still that's why i'm really cautious when i measure it this got like a mountain of powdered sugar here. <laughs> but we really want to not fail at making macarons. I like macarons. <laughs> so while she's helping me sieve the rest of that because it won't go through, I am gonna crack these eggs. I'm gonna do it the way I don't like doing it. So I'll show you that in like one sec. I am starting to crack an egg and I really don't like to do it this way because I just don't like getting my hands dirty. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's like the easiest way to get it separated without getting any egg yolk in the egg white because we don't want any of that because they will have to not use the egg. So I'm going to try and crack it. I'm still just like just powdered sugar. Yeah. Ah. Or you can just crack the whole thing to the bowl and then just use your hand to scoop it out. No! I didn't want to- No! Crap! Did it go in? No! Good. No! That way does not work. Either. I need to wash my I hands. I told you it was just a room temperature egg. It was just a room temperature egg, so- Oh no. Crap. Very scary. <laughs> That's why you just crack the egg into the bowl and use your hand to pick up the thing. No. Have to jiggle your hands. Ew, okay, it really smells. I don't it smells like, like egg, of course. Like raw egg. Cooked egg is fine, but like. Ew. Ew it's still okay. egg. Drink it, bro. Okay, crap. It's gonna break. Yeah. Okay, we're done with that. Now I am gonna go wash my hands again. Um, we are still sifting through the powdered sugar, but I did, we did clear, um, what we needed to after that egg mishap. Um, so yeah, I am just gonna take my time sifting powdered sugar because it's really clumpy and it just doesn't want to go through this sift. I have finished sifting the almond flour and the powdered sugar, and I have weighed out 50 grams of caster sugar here. Um, so now we're just gonna beat the egg whites until they have, like, stiff peaks. Um, and I actually tried to beat them by hand once. I have done that for a challenge, and it took, like, way too long. Back when I was, like, in year five or something. And she was watching me the whole time doing it. And laughing at me. I was. And she's apparently also gone on her own adventure and decided to make something that's not a macaron just for herself. What is it? <laughs> it's, like, 
<laughs> it's like chocolate and almond flour and like a tiny bit of almond milk and you put it together actually it looks like it's like a dessert it kind of it legitimately tastes nice i don't understand anyway we're gonna um beat the egg whites and i'll show you that as i am beating it or something like that so we finished mixing the eggs and she's getting all the stuff off the whisk so that's the sound um but um i thought they needed a little bit more time but apparently they're good and so we decided that the macaron shell will just be a plain white one because we don't have any food coloring and vanilla should be great stiff peaks yeah and um yeah so i just got vanilla extract to do that but um just to add a little bit of color somewhere i was thinking that we should um make a strawberry buttercream and see how it goes so she's gonna do the strawberries later and i'll just mix the buttercream but now we're gonna fold our dry ingredients into this bowl and like you know mix it but also be gentle so that's what we're gonna do now Okay, so I am just um, mixing up our almond flour and our powdered sugar, and then I'm going to pour a little bit of it into that bowl and start folding. We fold like, I don't know, how many times? 60, 70 times? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. It should like Add fold, like, like a like, third ribbons. of the mixture at a time. Like, like that much? Yep. Okay. I am scared of doing this part. I can show you how it started first. Okay. And then... She's gonna do a little bit of it and then I'm gonna take over. You want to fold it like that and then just draw like a line in the middle when you do it. And just keep folding and get like everything out from the sides. And that kind of looks sort of combined, so it's kind of combined when it looks like that. Then you just add like. So she's Half actually whatever made, this mixture is. So she's made macarons like twice before, like five times. Oh, total whoopsie. five times. How many of the like two came out? Two or three came out right? What no? Yes. I failed like once, oh. and it wasn't my first time. I failed on my second time, I think. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're doing now, and then I'll show you after the mix is all mixed thing. in. Okay, so this is how it should look like apparently and um you should be able to make like a figure eight without it breaking um so this is good so what we're gonna do now is put it into this cup or the piping bag and then start piping the macarons so i'm gonna move in a sec and line also my baking paper with it so we uh it's like a mess now um because the piping bag was too full so she's just piping it to like get rid of you know all that so it's not as full and I piped the first one, which I think looks pretty good, and then she piped the rest. And you can see we had a mishap over there, so I had to like try and try to clean it up. So we're just gonna finish piping them. And I also forgot to put the vanilla extract in our. Okay, so we've done three um like like baking trays full of them, and I just need to like tap to like release the air bubbles in a sec. Um, but basically they all kind of came out weird looking, especially that one. Like I don't know. Um, we were trying, um, that one is my first one and it is like the most perfect looking one. So yeah, I don't know how these are going to turn out at this rate, it just, whatever happens to it happens. Um, but we're going to tap it and then let it rest for like half an hour before putting it into the oven. Okay, so while the macarons are resting, I just cleaned up the kitchen, like washed some dishes, dried some stuff as well, um, just to hopefully like not make us wash so much later and so that it's like you know it's cleaner as well so yeah i'm just gonna let that rest for a bit and i'll show you what it should look like when before i put it in the oven okay so i just put them in the oven because they seemed um like they were done and they weren't really sticking um and meanwhile we are making buttercream strawberry buttercream so yeah that is what we're up to and i'll show you once we're done Okay, so we just got these out of the oven and look at that. These are perfect macarons and it looks amazing. Wow, I am proud of these macarons. They did well. <laughs> so um, I paired up all the macarons already and these are the more nice looking ones and these three are the not nice looking ones, especially these two. Um, so I'm just going to start piping them. I'm going to start with this one. Just going to add a little bit of buttercream and then kind of like swish them yeah so I'm just gonna do the rest of these 
Okay. Okay, so this is the end product of the macarons. We made like 10, 11 ish. Um, and that's like the most deformed one, so I just left it out and I cannot play it, so <laughs> this is the product of it. And I guess that is my macaron baking adventure. I just put the rest of them into this container um, and I'm gonna eat one more of them. Um, and yeah, they turned out really great and I'll just link the recipes I used um, in the description box so that maybe you can try it and maybe make macarons. Um, but that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!